I honestly didn't expect much when I first heard of uh, India's first ever platform cloud gaming service, which is definitely a mouthful. And I'm not honestly sure if it's really the first cloud gaming setup in India as I've seen a few before, but I'm not entirely sure if they work or not because I haven't gotten a chance to test them out personally. So let's get on the cloud. Yeah. Hey everyone, Mukul here and yeah, I'm sitting. Setting is good. So a lot of us, a bloody lot of us are actually still trying to get their hands on a graphic card which is at least sanely priced closer to its maximum retail price. But sadly, that doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. So yeah, unfortunately, that's the bad news of this video for some reason. So cloud gaming solutions like Antplay do sound good if they just work. And I was honestly quite surprised when it just worked out of the box for me. I mean, not literally out of the box as it is something that works inside different kind of boxes. So yeah. What's different with Antplay though is that it just gives you a Windows virtual machine via Parsec and whatever game library you already have on your Steam or Epic Store because of all the free games, you can just log in through them and install it on this machine and access all that library on these uh, virtual machines. So yeah, Antplay currently uses Parsec as its platform and at first you might react just like me and say what the f***. Uh, but as per the update I got, they are working on their own software too, which uh, might take some more time or months. So let's wait and watch what happens with that. Anyway, Parsec is pretty good when it comes to remotely playing games as long as your download speed is 10 Mbps with a ping lower than 30 ms. It also states that you need to be on 5 GHz frequency if you are using Wi-Fi and that means you really can't sit far from your router, especially when there are walls in between you and the router. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Parsec is also there on Android, but it's sadly not there on iOS yet. And because I don't have a Bluetooth controller to attach to my phone, I couldn't really test the gameplay here for longer hours. But the phone was about 30 feet away from my Wi-Fi router and there was no bad connection or warning signs that were shown by Parsec. That means that on 5 GHz frequency, even at that distance, your mobile devices can manage to run this on them. But I really am not sure of how the app on Android performs if you try to game on it for longer hours as I couldn't clearly test it on for a whole lot of duration actually. Also, if you can manage the same sort of speed in a 4G LTE connection on your phone or tablet, then that will work too. But I'm pretty sure that not everyone has that luxury. So getting a stable broadband connection is kind of an essential uh, requirement here. But I anyway tried to test it on my laptop, which sadly just supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. And that test failed miserably even when I was sitting next to my router. So if you have a device or a laptop incapable of running 5 GHz Wi-Fi, then in that case, it's better that you use an Ethernet cable and don't rely on your Wi-Fi. In the more expensive plan, you would find an Intel i5 11 Gen processor uh, with four cores and eight threads with an RTX 36 in it. And this plan will cost you about 4,000 rupees a month. Well, to be honest, at first this might sound expensive, but as far as I know, some PC gaming cafes charge about 60 to 80 bucks per hour. And let's say you visit there for at least a couple of hours daily, then the total for the month would come around to be uh, 4,800 rupees. And the whole month's plan with the RTX 3060 option is about for about 4,000 rupees with Antplay, which does sound to have a far better value for money proposition over it, considering you can also surf at that insane 1 Gbps internet speed over their servers too. Um, so I personally consider that as a huge bonus. But if it does sound a bit steep and all you want to do is game sometimes, there are cheaper options with a four core processor on that machine too. But which processor is that? I have no idea of that. Uh, with a far lesser storage and a GTX 1660 on it, which can manage to run a lot of games, to be honest, and especially these competitive ones, uh, would have no troubles in my opinion. Also, you can choose if you want to go with the 7 or 15 or 30 days plan, which is uh, pretty handy and flexible also. But of course, you save the most if you opt for the 30 days plan. So yeah, if you are someone who is planning to get a machine and is short on funds because of the GPU prices, the 30 days option doesn't sound uh, to be that bad. If your original plan is to use this, something like this for a couple of months or three months or four months till the GPU prices come down and then finally you can afford a machine. Overall, uh, all of this doesn't really sound so bad. 
And something like this can also be used for uh, in emergency cases like right now my GTX 1060 just died and the backup card I have is, uh, is a GTX 1030 which I can't really imagine to handle good AAA titles these days and I can't even export or, uh, or compile a 4K video edit on it even if the 4K video is as short as 20 seconds or 30 seconds so yeah it's a if I'm a creator and my machine dies this can also save many of such lives. If and only if you have a backup laptop lying around or if you have an older PC or if someone can lend you a laptop that is because I kind of think it would be pretty hard to manage all of this on a tiny phone screen and if you have a tablet an Android tablet and you have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse attached to it then only you can make a good use of this. Well for gaming I tried two games uh, Counter-Strike Go and Destiny Two or Destiny, I forgot which one was it. And visually there was no latency or lag issue when I tried to play these games. But I have to mention my PC was connected to the Ethernet cable and I have a 1 Gbps connection speed uh, here in my home. So your usage experience can vary a bit. But my connection is uh, always shared by many other multiple devices which are connected to it on a Wi-Fi. So even if you have a 100 Mbps plan, I don't think this should give you a problem. Provided not a lot of uh, devices are connected to that Wi-Fi at that time and they all are somehow streaming Netflix or Hotstar or something like that. So unless you are an extremely competitive gamer for whom a minuscule lag or latency does matter a lot, then the mileage will vary. And also Parsec has this uh, slight clarity issue which to be honest won't be visible to many of you. Uh, especially when you are gaming but yes there is some sort of compression uh, via the h264 codec and if you have a decent processor on your machine or laptop you can also choose the h265 and it might uh, come out sharper and something with more clarity on it now this can have multiple uses actually it's not necessary that everyone would want to game on these machines uh, especially creators who are not able to build their machines in such times because of expensive darn expensive uh, gpu prices and uh, especially the rtx 3060 option is very very extremely luring uh, for many of us who do a lot of gpu renderings or who uh, prefer doing a lot of 4k video edits on the machines and for some reason you're not able to afford a machine right now then paying 3000 rupees a month doesn't seem so bad if this is how you earn your bread and butter or money in other words i did try out editing a short video clip on adobe premiere and as expected there were no issues because if a game is running fine a uh, video editing experience would be even better just imagine if you have a decently capable laptop or an old PC which has a decent processor in it but you don't have the luxury of owning a graphic card right now and you have been waiting for many months now and staring at that um, boxes of monitor or processor or motherboard or a system without a GPU in it then to be honest this doesn't sound like a bad option right now. Now these servers are based in Delhi at the moment and I live in Delhi in CR so there was absolutely no connection drop or weird jitters I faced uh, during all my gaming sessions on the machine. And I also asked one of my friends in Kerala to test uh, this on his laptop which was connected via an Ethernet cable and his experience was great on it too. He claimed that there was no noticeable latency issue and the gameplay ran fine. I will make sure to post a screen grab from his laptop on screen. So unless your internet connection doesn't satisfy the minimum requirements of Parsec, I would suggest you to sway away from the thought of uh, gaming on any of these and play servers. I've also asked them what they have done to maintain privacy policies or the data which users are going to save on these servers and I will post the update on the screen if I get a reply back soon. But I would personally avoid logging into any of my banking accounts as that's just me and I make sure to avoid accessing them uh, anywhere else apart from my own PC or phone or my own laptop. You can say that I'm a bit of paranoid when it comes to any sort of banking credentials. So yeah, currently the kind of experience I've had with their servers is brilliant. I've had no issues and for someone who is just dying to get into PC gaming or has an older PC or laptop which is either connected to a Ethernet cable or a stable 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection, well, this can really work out good for you. To be honest, when they first approached me, I really thought they won't be this good. But when I agreed to cover them on my channel, by the way, this video is not sponsored by any way, but they have truly exceeded my expectations by far. And even I might use their service several times in future if they can maintain this as a sustained business model, that is. One suggestion which I have for them though is to introduce some sort of demo 
uh, for a couple of hours or so so that before a user commits to any sort of subscription plan may it be of seven days or 30 days they can test this on their uh, laptops or on their phones if or on their tablets and then only commit to one of these plans I'd be really interested to see how this shapes up and things like these might just uh, solve the current GPU problem for many of us, uh, many of uh, aspiring gamers also, who just want to game once or twice in a week and don't want to spend a lot of money uh, on getting and managing a gaming rig at home, especially right now. Or even for creators who don't want to carry their beefy systems when they go on vacations uphill or on mountains, which has been a dream of mine for years, but I just really didn't want to buy an expensive laptop for something which I might not be able to do more than uh, once a year or twice a year. So yeah, this is about it. Uh, let me know your thoughts about it and hop onto our Discord server for more chit chats on relevant content. Stay safe humans. That's all for today. Mewbot out. Oh man, sitting is good, but standing is even better.